I'm Jack Rudolph with Team Paul Mitchell Karate, and this is your tip of the month, the butterfly spin. The butterfly spin is an instrumental move when it comes to bow staff tricking. It's a very good transitional move, helps you get from point A to point B, and it's also a stepping stone to learn several more difficult variations of the same move. So I'll break down the butterfly spin real quick for you. We start off with the bow in the left hand, slightly below center. And when you do the technique, your thumb isn't actually going to be sticking out, but I have my students stick their thumb out just for directional purposes. So you're in a thumbs up position at first, then you turn the bow over, so now you are thumbs down. The bow will go directly behind the back, then your right hand will come straight down onto the bow. I like to have my students wave to the front so they don't have their fingers up and then go straight down onto the bow. So now your thumbs should be pointing in towards each other. From this position, the bow will go out to the right side. Well, I'll then bring it to the front and then rotate all the way over so that my palm is up. From this position, my left palm is going to turn palm up and go on top of my right hand. This creates the butterfly of the butterfly spin. So you notice I'm in between my index finger and thumb on both hands and I'm creating this butterfly looking formation. Then from here, my right hand will come off the bow. I'll be ready to switch to my left and continue behind the back. That seems like a lot of mechanical, complicated steps, but when you break it down and make it simple, it becomes much more uh, easy. So I go from here, I take the bow out, I flip it over, I switch hands, flip it over once more. If you make it that simple, it will remain that simple. Once you get it down step by step, then you'll start trying to add some flow to it so you have one continuous motion that continues going behind the back. Then bring your hips into it a little bit to give the move a little bit more speed and ultimately create that really nice whipping sound. Now here's the variations. You can also take the exact same technique and bring it up above your head to set up maybe an over the head strike. So I can take the bow up, rotate until my palm is facing me, switch to my left hand, grab with my left and go directly into a strike from there. Or I can also continue the bow directly behind my back. This is good for versatility throughout a form. Say at one point in the form you've already done a butterfly spin and you need to do another butterfly spin in order to transition to another technique or to another combo, you can use an over the head butterfly spin which puts you in the exact same position headed behind your back. You can also take butterfly spins up the right side to chamber for forward strikes. You can take butterfly spins up the left side to set up for different tricks like neck rolls and stuff like that. Now next month you'll learn about the release. In order to do the release properly, the butterfly spin must be, not mastered, but you must have a very good understanding of the butterfly spin first. So that butterfly spin ultimately will set up your release where you're doing the exact same technique, rolling over to the thumb and then pushing off. That's what you'll learn about next month. But for now, keep drilling the butterfly spin, your tip of the month.